Welcome back, Hookaholics. Look what a little koala happened to drop by. So, uh, as I alluded to in my video before this, I ordered uh, some goodies from Chase Baits USA. Um, one of which is this package here. I did sneak peek. Uh, what they call their spring freshwater bundle for 2021. And uh, a few items in here that I actually picked up one or two at Ollie's, not realizing that it was coming in here. So uh, we're going to crack, crack open this box and uh, see exactly what I got from Chase Baits. So stay tuned. So like I said, picked up a bunch of stuff from Chase Baits um, USA, including their 2021 Spring Freshwater Bundle. Uh, I intend to cherry pick out of here and give a lot of stuff away. Uh, a few things in here are going to go to our Christmas in July giveaway, naturally. Uh, I'll start right here with the stuff that I actually ordered, not including the stuff that showed up as a surprise, but one of the surprise items that I actually found in Ollie's and picked up and didn't realize it was coming in my chase bait order was the squid. So as you saw in my Ollie's video, this color, the bottle squid, um, I actually got at Ollie's for I think six, $6.99 or $5.99 and had no real uh, understanding that it was going to come in my chase bait. So I'm giving the one to you and I'm going to keep this one for myself because I don't need that many bottles. Um, it came with a nice sticker from Chase Bates. I'll throw that in the old giveaway too. Can't have enough decals, right? Uh, we got some really cool lures that I'm really interested in throwing very shortly. So these are their Chase Bates um, Flaccid Shad. So basically this is their version of uh, a little soft plastic fluke, but it uses that same fluttering frill that they use in um, a lot of their other baits, the squid included, which has that frill on the side. So rather than have a fork tail, they put that frill in there, and this thing is awesome, awesome action under the water. This catches wa uh, water while you're pulling it through, and it ripples, and not only does it whip back and forth, but because of those frills, it actually will roll a little bit as well. So it gives you a body roll, which adds flash to the fish as they see that body flashing back and forth, as well as a nice natural swimming action. I'm kind of really interested in throwing one of these on a chatter bait, specifically um, the more muted and more toned down um, Stealth Blade. Stealth Blade, if you don't know, is the one with that clear Lexan polycarbonate blade as opposed to the, the metal blades. And it has a more... Um, finesse style of, of reaction because the blade's thicker in profile. It's a little more jagged cut and it's smaller. So it gives a lot less action in the back to whatever your trailer is. So I'm really interested to see how these frills giving more mass and volume overall without a lot of weight and substance. So it's not a big bulky uh, volume, but it's a large profile. Um, how that's going to react behind that, meet that slightly shimmery chatterbait as opposed to like a jackhammer, which I would throw a more straight tail uh, kind of lure. Or like I do, those curly tails. Um, my personal choice is, um, I'll show you. Since I have one pack left. So if you saw the Fish in the Mitten episode uh, last month, uh, he got a package from me, including the, uh, the Chatterbait uh, Jackhammer in Firecrawl. And I have one package, not even a full package left. But this is my go-to for uh, trailer on those. It's the Impact Baits, and it's their little white grub with this red curly tail. I tried, I went to Dick's and I tried to pick up uh, some more similar, maybe not so much the Impact Baits, but some more of the white with that really jelly, uh, you know, raspberry red colored trailer. Uh, they didn't have that. All they had, the closest they had was a white trailer with like a fuchsia pinkish purple color. 
Um, but I'm interested to see how this uh, reacts similar to that curly tail. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to testing that out shortly. So I got the flaccid shads. These are four and a quarter inches long, six packs each. This one is in sticky brisket. And I also got them in the gold blood. Gold blood, I think, is an awesome, awesome color. It's a basically a really rich red flake over like a copper gold tone bottom and a dark, dark, um, almost black uh, back. So that's an interesting color combo I'm looking forward to. I picked up, or it was part of, um, some love bugs. So again, in the other, in my original chase baits, I didn't get the love bugs. What I got was, um, oh crap, I'll, I'll remember shortly because I think it's in that bag. But the love bugs are actually their craw pattern um, with that same frill. So there's those frills again. All those chase baits have that really soft, supple frill. And then you have a real true craw pattern. Um, the ones I got last time were far more of the little squid kind of uh, design. They didn't have a claw. They just had long tentacles that rolled down um, as well as little appendages on the sides, which definitely mimic more of a squid or a, uh, a squid or a uh, uh, octopus as opposed to these, which are far closer to the actual craw pattern. So I got these in green pumpkin. I've got the love bug. This is the, the big pack. This is that, uh, that extra large pack that they, they do for like a bonus pack. They gave, I got it in the green pumpkin. So I might just take a few of these and bag them up separately and, uh, and send uh, them to you in the, in the giveaway. But I got them in the standard pack, which is normally a six piece count. I got them in black blue for myself and watermelon red flake. So green pumpkin, black blue, watermelon red flake. So I'm probably going to hand off a handful of these. They won't come in the original package, or they might. I might just, you know, keep a few in here and just send this off. It won't be a full 15 piece, um, but, you know, I'll send a few to you. Um, there's those. I got, really interesting, the mud bug. So the mud bug is their soft plastics version of a crayfish. Really awesome. Uh, go online, check these out. They have an awesome setup. They come pre-rigged with a hook, and this little weight on the bottom, which is designed to look exactly like an egg sack. So as you're fishing this along, they jet backwards, just like a real crayfish would, as they would flip their tail and move backwards. The extra super buoyant claws float up, give you that perfect attack stance, that defensive posture. That egg sack doesn't look like your standard shaky head or you know, a weight on a, on a, on a, um, a hook. It's got a little wire weed guard, so they're very, very weedless. Um, and these are both in the half ounce? Yeah, 0. 0.49 ounces, so 14 grams. About half an ounce, two and three quarter inches long. Awesome, awesome crayfish baits. I love my crayfish uh, uh, designs. In the, give, in, the, in the special like mystery thing, the spring freshwater bundle that they had on sale, um, We've got a few really cool hard baits, including another one of the love bugs. So in the pumpkin seed, there's two here in pumpkin seed. So one of them's definitely going to y'all with that giveaway. I did get another frill seeker, this one in the white, which is a great compliment to the one I have in the darker tone. So that's cool, the frill seeker lizard. Um, again, same thing, this is the bone color. So that's cool. I got another prop duster. Um, I don't know if I have this color. I think, I think my prop duster is a different pattern than this. This is the, um, let's see, the six and a half inch, two and two, two 2.2 ounces. And the color on this one is the readier. So it's the readier, um, bluegill, basically readier. So I'll see if, if it's the same color or not. I don't, I don't think so. I think that's a different tone than when I, when I got a, uh, in my previous orders with them. <laughs> another another sticker <laughs> sticker heavy we've got another smuggler to go I could not order this particular color this is in the uh, the natural sparrow sparrow color I could not order this online on its own they only had a few colors available one was 
uh, the black cockatoo, which is the one I actually got. Um, but because I ordered this sampler pack, I got a color that I actually wanted in the first place. So it's really cool. Um, so it kind of benefits me that I got stuff that I really don't want that I'm going to add into the giveaway. But I did get one or two things in that package that I did I was looking forward to. Uh, we got ourselves oh, flip-flops. Flip-flops are the ones that are more uh, beaver-esque, more like the, uh, the squid. So the flip-flop as opposed to the love bug. So I'll open this up and I'll give you a good look side by side uh, since I got both of them in the same color, which is really cool because you get a, a great comparison. So love bug to your right. Oh, excuse me, love bug to your right, which is the craw. You see the craw analog? And the flip-flop, which is more of a beaver tail profile. Like I said, it's got these tentacles down. This is more like a little squid or what have you. It's got the bulbous eyes uh, on either side, which definitely look more like a squid. See those big eyeballs protruding, little tentacles. And like a beaver tail, it splits open. And then this guy here, which is certainly more craw-like in, in that pattern. But it's really all these frills. But the top body segments are pretty much identical. It's just the bottoms that they kind of mold out uh, different added legs. There's slight different variants in the texture on the top. This has got little nibs on the top um, compared to the, to the love bug. But uh, flip-flop is more like your squid. Love bug is more like your crawfish. So this one came with a 15 count pack. Yep, a 15 count pack of the flip-flops. So again, I might take some of these out and then put the rest uh, in the giveaway. It did also come with my love bugs in green pumpkin chartreuse, which is a cool color. Uh, also something uh, I might split up and share the love. And certainly I've got two of the wiggle bombs. These are really cool um, for the for when frogs are just starting to, to come out. You've got the little froglets. These guys are great for catching bass. They're also a really good bed fishing uh, tool. As well, they have a little frog hook. They're small profile. They're heavy weighted, so they sink to the bottom really good. Um, and uh, this is deep purple color. I'm definitely throwing this box this into uh, the giveaway. I hope somebody has some good luck with these. I have a bunch of, of those myself to look forward to. And finally, coming up around the corner, this is supposed to be a one in every 500 years, I think. I don't know. Uh, some crazy extension period of time. But uh, the cicadia uh, will be coming, it'll be digging out of the earth, out of their little burrows, and we're supposed to be expecting this summer a huge run of cicadia around the northeast. Um, be that as it may, I thought I'd jump on it. I have a lot of these top water pompadour style baits, um, you know, your jitterbugs uh, with the bills and the pompadours with the wings. This is yet another pompadour. This is a soft bait pompadour made exactly to, to look like a mimic a cicadia or cicada uh, by Chase Baits. Um, they call it their Ripple Cicada. It is pretty darn nifty, not a bad color. So what you have here is a soft plastic, it's not super soft, but it's a soft plastic bait, double trebles, tiny little trebles, and it's got these harder plastic wings, but the main body front end everything is soft plastic so you get a good bite down texture for the fish and it's made to mimic a cicada so as you're pulling this just like every other pompadour you'll get that back and forth walk um, these are also really good to chug across um, this is a very tiny bait I have a lot more with a larger profile more like the two inch profile inch and a half profile uh, but I'm really interested to give this a shot this is the 1.75 inch um, it weighs 0.21 ounces, so, you know, a quarter of an ounce, give or take. Not bad, and it's supposed to, because it's hollow body, as opposed to a lot of my hard plastic lures, this should allow me to, to toss this out and have it land and plop more like a natural insect. It won't have that harsh, hard fall onto the water, um, you know, that might spook the fish uh, from, from above. So this might land with a little bit more softness and subtlety, and then I can work it, especially in my back creeks, where I intend to throw this a lot more often. Um, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to this guy 
bringing in some nice size some nice size fish so that ends it for for this like i said i'm going to take a bunch of these lures i might just package them up into little ziplocs and uh, and add them to the collection as well as obviously the wiggle bombs and some other things and uh, you noted from the other video there's a couple of things that went in for my ollie's trip uh, i am looking very much forward from the ollie's thing a lot of my larger baits including baits like this that i have i have a big collection of larger baits that i use for uh, pike musky large large bass uh, big fish um, when i'm hopeful that they're in the waters that i'm fishing and i ordered a brand new rod to go with my setup for that <clears throat> excuse me and uh, i'm looking forward to that arriving shortly so uh, when that happens i'll give a nice little show of some of my bigger lures my big two three four ounce and up lures um and uh i'll be able to look and see if this is the same color as the other but nevertheless i appreciate you all spending some time as always uh, like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so that you know uh when i post new stuff and uh certainly so you know when i do the giveaway because i'm not going to set up the giveaway um you know as coming up next video or anything like that it could happen at any time in july it's not going to happen necessarily on my birthday the 8th of july because it's not a birthday giveaway it's a christmas in july giveaway so you never know when in july i might just drop it, it might be the 15th might be the 12th might be the 17th who knows but uh the best way to find out and find out if you're a winner is to hit that bell notification so you get in contact and you know when i drop a new video and i have been obviously putting out more and more content to try to keep up so as always i appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with me i hope uh any of these little baits were interesting i'll leave the link to chase baits uh, website down below if any of these tickle your fancy and you'd like to order some of the stuff or try it out for yourself they have some pretty good deals occasionally some good promotions um as always uh you know I don't push any brand or anything. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so it's just me researching and trying things. I like to try new stuff. Uh, keep your lines tight, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.